Well, some bitch. That's right, people. It's Saturday afternoon. I just woke up. I'm going to grab a shower before I do anything else today. Because, uh, I'm feeling. Oh, Jesus. I almost fell down the stairs. That would have been awesome. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just having a coffee, trying to wake up, chatting with Jules. So, without further ado, welcome to my vlog. Alrighty, well, I had a shower and want to see something dicked is my neighbor shoveled his driveway and it was all clear. Yeah, it's still snowing out there. I don't know if you can see it. But it's still coming down. Trans Am's going to finally get its first blanket of, of snow, so that'll be protected. Thank God I already pulled the battery. There's a lot of shit that I've done that I haven't been filming, but whatever. It's the way she goes, you know. Anyway, I need to fire up the G6, let her heat up and then go out there and uh, clear the snow off of it. Then I need to go to the gas station, put some fuel into her, and then I promised Jules I'd head over to her place and uh, help her out with video pad because she's got her video all rendered or all edited up. She just doesn't know how to render it. So while I'm going over there, I'm gonna bring the white flip with me so that she'll have that. Oh yeah, and I wanted to grab that e-juice for her because I bought her a bottle of uh, French vanilla or just vanilla, sorry. And we're gonna head over there and see what the what is and go with it. So, she said the kids are having fun in the backyard playing in the snow. Chances are they're gonna get really ill, but that's just what, what kids do, right? So I'm gonna grab my shit, let the dog out real quick, and we're gonna hammer down. Holy shit, she is slippery as fuck out right now. All right, let's get this thing back in the house, and uh, I'm not bringing him with me because uh, I don't know what the hell he's doing. Oh, he's peeing again. All right, let's get him in the house. Now to see if I can find my freaking brush so I can clean my car off. Yeah, we got the douse pretty good today. Problem is, it's not really worth it for me to uh, clean my driveway because fuck. Anyway, like I was saying, it's not really worth it for me to clean my driveway because uh, one problem that I have with this driveway in the winter when snow blowing is she likes to throw rocks. So normally what I like to do is pack the snow all down and then go from there. But anyway, I'm gonna head over to Jewel's house. First I need gasoline, cause I'm at a quarter of a tank. So I'm gonna go get some gas and then we're gonna head over there and go from there. So let's pitter patter and have at her people. Oh, uh, for frig's sakes, just got 40 bucks in gas. Let's see how much it says I have in my tank now. Yay! 40 bucks got me to three quarters of a tank. The Trans Am, that would have filled it and I wouldn't have been able to put the full 40 into it. Missed the Trans Am. <laughs> it's pretty bad, I missed the car because of how cheap it was to run. The problem is, is the car is a first generation freaking fuel injected V8. I miss it for all the wrong reasons. So I figured first snowfall of the year, I'd do a driving vlog even though I'm heading over to Jules' house. But, uh, you gotta be careful when you take off at intersections because a lot of people like just to fucking smash the throttle, right, and spin the tires. And when you spin the tires, what happens is snow melts and then becomes water and then quickly freezes into black ice and therefore making every intersection a pain in the ass. Also gotta make sure you brake well before a red light or an intersection, which requires a stop. Because a lot of people like to wait to the last minute and then just push the brake pedal through the floor. And of course, they slide, and once again, making black ice and, and, and such at intersections, making it really fun for other people to try and stop. Winter Driving 101. Accelerate lightly, do not let your tires spin, and brake well before your stop. Hopefully everybody else behind you does the same. So I'm really enjoying the Inokin eye taste after drilling it out. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I drilled it out. Ha! I, uh, I put that on a, a video I made for Northern Tech to uh, basically demonstrate it, that I modified the uh, beauty ring and uh, punched the holes that were in it already. They were like really small. So I punched them uh, up to a 564th hole and holy shit, is she ever flowing good now? Like now it can breathe, now it's able to friggin' throw the vape, get good flavor. Still having some issues with that iClear 30 tank. Every once in a while, one of the coils short out and she throws like 0.8 ohms and then it won't fire. But other than that, it's been not too bad. Right 
right now, I think it's flooding, but whatever. Chat with Where's Bobby, he's like, holy shit, how much snow did you guys get? So I told him, and he's like, wow, he goes, it's 15 degrees Celsius here and sunny. Yeah, well, you can go frig yourself, Bobby. <laughs> oh, God. Welcome to the Great White North, eh? So we'll go over to Jules, see what kind of nonsense is going on over there, and then uh, hang out for a bit, and then probably come home. I don't think anything else is going on tonight, as far as I know. Nobody's told me of any special events or anything. So, yeah. Apparently Thor 2 is playing in the theaters. That's kind of cool. I, uh... I, I, I'm probably going to wait for that one to come out on DVD or Blu-ray or Netflix because uh, I honestly don't feel like paying $15 to go to the theater and sit with a bunch of people and watch a friggin' movie. I always hated that kind, but uh, whatevs. I'm going to have to replace my wipers. Fuck's sakes. So expensive for this car, too. They're like 40 bucks a piece. Probably saying, well, you're shopping at the wrong place, Adam. No, not really. Problem is, is these things have GM proprietary clips, and I haven't been able to find an aftermarket wiper that has those GM proprietary clips. So I'm probably gonna run these wipers until they're completely fucked. Like right now, I'm just getting one little strip up the windshield. I can deal with that. But uh, I'm gonna run these things until they're like completely bent over backwards, destroyed. And then I'll toss a new set onto them, or I'll just trade the car in the way it is and be like, fuck it. I want to put the least amount of money into this thing now that I want to get rid of it. But I really want to find out what's happening with my job before I do. I've got to make sure I have an income before I take on a truck payment, you know what I'm saying? Okay, what the fuck, people? The light's green and you're all coming to a dead stop. You're either going straight or turning up here. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, people, I'm almost at Jules' house, so I'm going to go ahead and shut down the feed here. And once I get there, I'll chime back in, maybe, probably. All right, guys, peace the frig out. This is what the Sony bloggy does now. It doesn't do anything but play movies. <laughs> Typical Sony product. What a piece of crap. They need, they need to go bankrupt. Yep. They need to fix their shit. Yeah. <laughs> They've needed to fix their shit for a while. So far, Sony, you're becoming the laughing stock of technology. Yes, you are. Aren't I pretty? <laughs> Aren't I pretty? Flare for your hair. I should probably keep these in, eh? No. <laughs> no? Not allowed? Ah. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I'm over at Jules, and 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 one of her one of her kids made a a snow fort right in the middle of the driveway, which means I had to park on the side of the road. Not a big deal. And um, yeah, right now, right now, Jules is vlogging. Look, you can tell. You can tell. She has the flip now. I got the flip. Yeah. My phone died. So yeah. We lost a lot of footage but, uh, this afternoon. She's got. Uh, Adam some he fell over. Oh, I do that. I was probably on the liquor. But uh, look at this. Oh. All the kids. She's got all the kids here. What do you use for their eyeballs? What are those? They're, they're buttons. Oh. So there's, I guess, I there's fix them. Emily, Amy, and Jenna. But Wait, and then that Alex will do. Oh, okay, okay. And and I fell over because I'm, I'm drunk because you know that's just my state. Oh, uh, oh, your head broke all in half. Oh, great! I'm a, I'm a cyclops, whatevs. <laughs> and there's Jules, and there's me, and and we're all a happy snowman family of snow. Snow, the only and, thing good to do in the snow. Yeah, that and there's you know getting cold and getting sick and stuff. Oh, I hate the cold. Me too. Mm. This sucks. I was depressed. Snowman, snowman, snowman. That's impressive. Like, a cup inside of another cup. And it's like on there for life. Oh my god. Did you get it? Nope. Nope. Give me more soap. Brand new invention? Nope. Oh my god. A cup god. with a cup? It's a cup cup? What the heck? That's funny. I'd help, but I'm having fun filming. <laughs> yep. How to get a bunny to come out of hiding? Bunny, bunny? Bunny, bunny? Where are you? Bunny, bunny? Bunny, bunny? Hey. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Nom, 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 nom. You want it? You want it? You want it? You want it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're mad. You're so mad. You're so mad. <laughs> yeah. You want it? Hey, you want that? Come on. Come here. You want that? You want that? <laughs> I need the couch. You're a bunny. Hey. 
dude. Where are you going? Bunny. Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah. I like it though. Stir, 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 stir the mac and cheese. Stir. I want some milk. Milk is good. Does the body good and other things. It comes from cows. Alrighty guys, well I'm gonna head home. I just left Jules. I'm actually over at Sobeys right now picking some shit up. I'm gonna head home, let the dog out. I'm gonna go for coffee at 10 with Manoli and them. With Manoli, cat, or sorry, with cat piss, age 042, aka Tasty Glue and Rex 4x4. So uh, let's go. You can totally tell the city of North Bay loves cleaning up their roads, eh? Actually, I wonder if they even have the snow plows on the road. Because uh, this hasn't been touched. And it's pretty slippery out too. I tried the old-fashioned smash the brakes and see how far your car slides. And uh, yeah, she goes pretty good. She goes pretty good. So, needless to say, roads are dicked. But what can you do? Just gotta drive on them. Take her slow, take her easy. And don't take her too fast. If you're gonna take her hard, well, try and do it since somewhere private. All right, people, I'm home now, and uh, those roads, like I was saying, they're sloppier than a freaking five-dollar hooker. Holy shit! So I'm not sure what the frig's going on, but uh, Jules uh, edited up her video for tomorrow in uh, video pad. Goes to render it, gets about three minutes into it, video pad crashes. Check the three minute mark. Yeah, I'm having an allergic reaction, don't worry about it. But I checked the three minute mark and there was a transition there. Got rid of the transition, it still crashes at that exact spot. Not sure why. So, after multiple attempts and different things tried, realized we couldn't fix it. Now she has to re edit in Windows Movie Maker. So, needless to say, don't expect a video from Jules tomorrow, which would be Sunday as in today. But you never know. She might get her done tonight because she's off work now until next Wednesday. Holy shit, lucky her. Yeah. Anyway, people, it's freaking a little after 10. I was watching Wayne's World, uh, old TV show. Some of you may have seen it, some of you probably not. Who knows? I think it was a uh, 1990s started a Saturday Night Live skit with uh, Michael Myers and uh, Frig Sakes who played Garth. Can't remember his name now. Dana Carvey. That's right. Michael Myers and Dana Carvey from uh, freaking uh, Wayne from. Huh, Saturday Night Live, there we go. Started a skit called Wayne's World. It was like a home produced TV show. Kind of funny. And then it ended up becoming a Saturday Night Live original movie, which blew up into a sequel. So that's right on. And I was watching that while I had a bite to eat. Now I'm gonna be heading over to the Hortons, meet up with the guys for coffee, see what the what is. You know, just hang out, chat, get caffeinated, and then come back here and quite possibly edit the shit out of this thing. Well, that be the plan. So. I'll talk to you guys when I get back, as I will not be bringing you with me. Yeah. Alrighty guys, back from the Hortons. Uh, I ended up staying a little later with Rex, Cat Piss, and Age ended up leaving early because uh, they were tired. And if this turns into snow, Adrian's going to have to work tomorrow morning. So, yeah, what's really going on here? Got some weird shit happening on my Skype. But, uh, yeah, I'm home now. I uh, just had a talk with Jules. And she got her video re-edited and uploaded. So, well, I don't know if it's uploaded, but she got it edited and rendered. So that's pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, right on. Right on. Well, today's been a long day and there's something I wanted to talk about, but I didn't really want to talk about it in case I already did talk about it. Because I took a lot of footage today and I wasn't sure if I talked about it. And I didn't think I did. I just edited up my vlog. Look, you can tell. Totally edited it up. Edited it up. Edited it up. And I really didn't want to talk about something I might have already talked about because I'm bad for doing that and dropping redundant data on a video. And well, you know, I don't want to be the the redundant department of redundancy department. You know, so uh, basically what I wanted to talk about was something that bigger YouTubers are doing, which I think is pretty friggin' awesome. So as you all know, the comment section on YouTube is just as shot as the sub box on YouTube. It's broken. They don't plan on fixing it. Probably not. I don't know. Who knows? YouTube's dicked. You know, Google bought it, fucked it all up, sent it to the shitters. Congratulations, you're a winner. So I want to talk about this whole Google Plus thing, and I want to give my honest opinion on it. See, a while back, when Facebook was really doing good... Uh, Google wanted to buy Facebook and run it as their own social network because, you know, why reinvent the wheel when you can just offer a lot of money to a company and buy a wheel, right? Seems pretty legit. Miz is Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg isn't the kind of guy to sell out because his whole idea behind Facebook was a community for people to 
mingle and, and meet new friends and stuff like that, you know? Which is exactly what it turned out to be. Mind you, it also turned out to be the biggest place for 13 year old girls to take their iPhone and do shitter shots. So, you know, you catch those a lot on, on the Facebooks. When you, when you, when you got your, your friends' daughters who have you as friends, and then, then they post pictures of them in the public washrooms, standing in front of a big mirror and posting pictures. But anyway, enough of that, I digress. Google offered a whole fuckload of money to Facebook to buy them. Facebook declined, said no, 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 no. We're keeping our site. Google then gets this bright idea of, well, if we can't buy Facebook, let's make our own Facebook. Let's make a Google Plus. So the initial idea behind Google Plus was, let's make a site that's like Facebook, where instead of having people friend you, they add you to your social circles. And like, you can have separate circles for like, best friends forever, and, and co-workers, and, and people you don't really like, but you kind of want to make them envious of you and share shit with them. And, you know, all these different circles. And you can make your own circles too. They were also the first ones to add a Hangout feature. What's a Hangout feature? Basically, it's a live webcam chat that you can do with a bunch of your friends, up to 16, I believe, at one time. Now, when Google Plus first came out, I'll admit, I was on there a lot. You know, we used to do a lot of Google Hangouts back in the day. You know, jump on the webcam and, and hang out for like freaking hours and hours and hours on end. I think there was one night where we spent five hours on there chatting on webcams and shit. Pretty crazy. I'm sure there's videos on this channel somewhere of us doing the Google Hangouts from back in the day. Yeah. But then Google Plus started changing and YouTube started changing and the layout changed and it got really nasty and I lost interest in it. That and a Google Hangout was really rough on your bandwidth. So if you had a certain limitation on how much bandwidth you could use in a day or in a month, it would eat that up pretty freaking fast. So I stopped doing it and a lot of people stopped doing it as well. There really wasn't a lot of people signing up to Google Plus, which made the department look like kind of a joke. YouTube knew this or Google knew this and tried their best to see if they can drive more people there by offering different things like Google Plus for phones and, and making Android's Google Hangout kind of like uh, your uh, iMessage or FaceTime, sorry, for iPhone, Google Android has Hangout. Yeah, that's how they're trying to drive people to Google Plus. So when that epically failed, they didn't know what to do. How the hell can we take a site that we invested so much money into and make millions and millions and millions of people join it? We gotta make them join it. So some cock Nazi over at Google, we'll call him Dick Anus, decided, hey guys, Dick Anus here. I got a great fucking idea. Why don't we merge YouTube and Google Plus together? You know, by merging them together, that forces all of our YouTubers, and we have millions and millions and millions and millions of video creators on YouTubes, that would force all of them to create a Google Plus account and actually have to use it. Just think of the statistics. So of course, you know, Google's like, well, how the hell can we force them to use it? That doesn't make sense. They're not gonna do that. Hey, fuck Stick McGee, how are we gonna do that? So of course, jackhole-faced Jack Jerkinson decides, well, how about we have Google Plus maintain all the comments and all the ratings and basically everything that involves user interaction with the videos, we'll have Google Plus handle that. It'd be brilliant. And then we can put some sort of a surveillance system in there so they can control what, what topics are talked about and what comments are left. And they can actually blah, 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 yada, yada, was it was a bing, bang, doesn't fucking work anyway. The main problem with having Google Plus control anything is Google Plus, number one, has different policies than what YouTube had in place. YouTube, you weren't allowed to post links and comments, which was a damn good thing. YouTube also had a limit of 500 characters per comment, which is more than enough to leave the average comment. I know some of you out there like to write books. That's cool. Leave multiple comments. Not a big deal. The big kicker is this whole leaving a link in a comment. Some people don't realize how dangerous it is, and, well, to be honest with you, I've been kind of using it to my benefit today. I'm not proud of myself, but I did it. What are you talking about? Yeah, I kind of went on a lot of the big channels and linked my YouTube page and said, hey, if you want to watch another vlogger, come and check me out. <coughs> yeah, dick move, I know, but fuck, if they give you the ability to, do it, right? If you're walking by an ATM and it spits out a thousand bucks, what are you gonna do? Fucking run away? Take the grand and run, for freak's sakes. Honesty only gets you so far. But the thing is with links and putting links in comments 
is you can use programs like Bitly, AdFly, uh, Google or whatever the Google shortener is and you could actually link a pornographic website. You could link a virus filled web page that commandeers somebody's computer. You could leave the nastiest fucking links in a comment and some innocent person comes along and you like, hey you want to see a cute picture of my puppy dog? Click here! And then they go, oh, I love puppy dogs. Click! Com their computer grenades. You know? That's the problem with the comment system. Links should not be allowed. So one of the guys that I watch, Nerd Cubed, he dropped a video about saying, well I've gone ahead and I've modified my filters because you can modify that, right? So that certain words left in a comment can be blocked and won't come through and ah, that's a fart. Uh, basically it'll put the comment under pending approval and then you can choose to approve it or delete it. He tried it. Obviously it didn't work. Obviously it didn't work for a lot of the people who tried it including myself which I've tried it and it failed. Basically a lot of the big YouTubers have disabled comments on their videos. Reason being is because if YouTube ain't gonna fix their shit, they're gonna be nice enough to protect their users. And honestly, I'm thinking they're on to something. And I'm really contemplating on doing the same thing myself. And it's not to be a complete dick to you guys who like to leave comments and let me know things and stuff. It's mainly to protect versus the trolls who would like to leave links and fuck other people over by being a dick. You know, there's no way to protect anybody now. YouTube literally handed free friggin' shotguns out to goofs to go ahead and turn YouTube into the next 4chan. Yeah, that's right, the next 4chan. Obviously, buttfucker Billy Bob over at YouTube didn't think about this when he came up with this grand idea. He obviously didn't think that having links in comments could be devastating, you know? I'm just waiting for the first person to click a link in a video, get their computer right royally fucked, and then decide to sue the people who deserve to be sued, which is YouTube's. I honestly don't know how well a lawsuit like that would go, but really, they opened up Pandora's box right now. I have a bad feeling that in the very near future, I won't be creating these videos anymore, people, because there'll be nowhere to put them. YouTube is on a downward spiral, and they're gonna die. It's gonna be a site that is completely ruined. Do you guys remember a little while back, YouTube dropped a video uh, talking about the first video ever uploaded to YouTube, and it was done by the creator of YouTube before he sold out to Google? Well, the guy who did that pretty much disappeared. He never talked or nothing, never commented on nothing ever since now, since this bullshit went down. Now he pipes up and goes, congratulations Google, you fucked up. You wrecked my site. Even though he sold the site to Google, that's still his baby. That was his baby. Now that site is ruined. He wrecked it. Like Google wrecked it. He pipes up eight years after selling it because of this. That is hardcore. So that's what I'm getting at is I love YouTube. I love dropping videos. You know, the money earned, if I don't get that money at the end of the month, doesn't hurt me. That's just money I use to buy useless shit I don't need on Deal Extreme. Just to do, you know, unboxing videos on the tech channel and, and other things like that. Not money that I use to, you know, for bills or anything. It's just extra money that I use for fucking around. I used to use it for buying cigarettes. Now I use it to buy vape gear or juice or whatever. I don't need that money. <laughs> like, for me it's nothing. But there are other people out there on YouTube who basically make a living doing what I'm doing right now. They get the views, they get the subs, they make the money. They don't have a real job, a nine to five job. I shouldn't call YouTube not a real job because this is a time consuming job. You know, literally if you want to say it, I work two jobs. I, I work for YouTube and I work for the company I work for which actually pays me a lot more than YouTube. But anyway, I digress. There are people out there who do this for a living, who make their money off of it, who actually pay their rent and buy their groceries and pay their car bills and all that. Those are the people who are going to suffer the most. You know, like Wilson Tech One. That guy makes all of his money from YouTube videos and sponsors and stuff like that. If this YouTube thing were to shit the bed tomorrow, there'd be a lot of broke ass bitches out there in the world that wouldn't be getting paid anymore. I would not be one of them, but there'd be a lot of broke ass bitches out there in the world who'd be fucked. Oh, he loves the snow. Hey, he loves the snow. Want to go outside playing the snow? Go play in the snow. At least now I can see him outside. Black dog, white snow. Yeah, bonus. But yeah, so that's what I'm getting at is literally these changes on YouTube, if this was my job and this is how I made my money to pay my bills, 
with these recent changes, I'd say I just got demoted. I just got demoted from like like a manager of a department to the guy who cleans the manager's toilet. That's what I just got demoted to. A lot of investors are pulling out of YouTubes. Like since this happened, uh, my friend JP contacted me. He's like, dude, did you notice the money drop? I don't really check to see my earnings daily. I don't really care, but I do check it from time to time. And I was like, and he sent me a screenshot of his earnings. And it was like, you know, it was up there about like, you know, 12, 15 bucks a day. I was like, boom, two bucks a day. Like it dropped drastically. And I checked mine. Pretty much the same, exact, actually, the curb on my chart was exactly like his. Right after the announcement happened and everybody was forced over and Google Plus took over the comments, the money dropped. I could care less. But for some people, they're going to see that and go, hey, because now they've got to get a real job. Now they're going to have to do something else to make that ends meet. Oh my God, do you got snow all over you? You're, you're not going on the bed, friggin' dog. But they're the ones who are going to be fucked. Now I know a lot of tubers out there who are doing this to make their money. They're also going to school, like college and university and stuff, and they're basically going to try and get into something bigger than YouTube. And like for instance, uh, Oliver Age, age 24 I believe it is, um, he does how to draw videos really good and well, his art style is pretty awesome, but it's not exactly a Mona Lisa if you get my point. <laughs> he recently got a job as a media producer, so, you know, he got a 9 to 5 job and he's going to make money off doing that, and the YouTube isn't going to hurt him. And that's what a lot more YouTubers need to do, is not rely on this niche to make their money, because it's not going to fucking work. You know, unfortunately, the only way to make money is either be rich or work, and you can't be both. So, that's why, like for me, I always said in the past, on the past vlogs, even if it came down to it, where I was making like, oh, 5,000, 6,000, 8,000, 10,000 dollars a month off of YouTube, I'd still be working at my job, because at least I know my job is gonna pay me every two weeks. This shit could come to an end tomorrow for all we know. Anyway, that's my rant on Google+. Plus. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm going to leave the comments open on this video. But I am contemplating on shutting down the comments to protect the, uh, the users because this shit's getting right the fuck out of hand. But anyway, people, I'm shutting her down for today. It's 2.30 in the morning. I'm calling her quits. Edit, upload, go see me times. If you liked today's video, click that like button. Questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. Now, until next time, people, keep on vlogging.